Above all, be faithful to the traditional Latin mass. Uh, I think that maybe there's still some of the, the faithful here that, for whatever reason, let's say, still go to the new mass. And I would just strongly urge you, please make every effort to be 100% faithful to the traditional Latin mass. Um, I don't have time right now, unfortunately, to explain all the reasons behind this. But one thing to just keep in mind is that just as the truth which the Catholic Church teaches does not change, her liturgy does not change in any, let's say, radical ways. And it's what we call as Catholics, lex orandi, lex credendi. The way that we pray determines and affects the way that we believe. And so essential to being able to preserve and transmit the true faith is the true worship of the Catholic Church. And so make every effort to be faithful to the traditional Latin Mass, whatever sacrifices may be necessary. Encourage others to do the same. Here also, though, for those who are already going to the Latin Mass and for those who maybe have been going to the Latin Mass for many years, please don't be complacent. There is still much that needs to be done in terms of studying more and more the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass to come to love it more, to be more and more devoted, and to become more and more aware how, of how the great truths and mysteries of our faith are being transmitted through the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass in ways that are known to us and also in ways that are not necessarily known to us. It is a mystery of faith, and that's one thing to also remember. There are going to be many ways in which you will be able to appreciate this transmission of the truth in the traditional Latin Mass. The more you study, the more you're going to be able to appreciate that. But there are also going to be many ways in which we're, we, we can't necessarily appreciate it. It is a mystery of faith. <laughs> 